The Director General, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIB, has said the agency is working collaboratively with relevant stakeholders, including sports, to create awareness against human trafficking. The DG Fatima Waziri Aziz said this at a novelty football match, an awareness fitness exercise and jogging at the Moshud Abiola Stadium, Abuja, as part of activities to commemorate the 2022 World Day Against Human Trafficking. Our correspondent Emeka Amako compiled this report from Abuja. The potential of sports to engender peace and development as well as foster the empowerment and social inclusion of people cannot be overemphasized. But despite its advantages, some criminal minds have taken advantage of the desperation of some sports enthusiasts to traffic individuals under the guise of international representation. To address this ugly trend, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIB, and other stakeholders have organized this fitness exercise to relay the message of sports as a tool for human trafficking. Traffickers know that young people are always very open to any sports opportunities, so they capitalize on that, deceive these young people, tell them they can get them contracts in other countries and take them to where they want to, to go. So definitely there is a, a, a very strong nexus between sports and trafficking in persons. And we know that a lot of young, peoples are, are, young people are involved in, in sports activities, which was why we felt it was important for us to collaborate and partner with FEPSIN. While urging Nigerians to look out for red flags and ask questions whenever juicy overseas offers are made, the NAPTI boss advised those interested in sports to always follow the right agency when traveling abroad for sporting events. When someone comes to you and tells you there is sports agents and they have an opportunity for you, the first question you should ask them is, do you have a clearance certificate from NAPTI? We currently have what we call the Trafficking in Persons Control of Activities and Organizations Regulation 2019. And what this regulation does is it gives NAPTI the powers to regulate, control and issue clearance certificates to tour operators, to travel agents and to individuals who are looking to, to travel out for the purposes of educational excursion, for sporting activities, for cultural, cultural activities, and also organizations and centers that work in the area of human trafficking. The fight against human trafficking requires a holistic approach, and stakeholders have urged more efforts to bring an end to the menace. There's a national steering committee that's working together in the country with other MDAs, with uh, National Planning, Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning as a coordinating ministry to ensure that the legal framework and that mechanisms are put in place to ensure that Nigerians find SUCO and we grant, that we give them employment, we make sure that everything is in place for them, social security, safety net, so that when they are at home, they don't need to seek to migrate. Our officers have been working tirelessly, gallantly, to arrest traffickers of, uh, of human traffickers in Nigeria. We have been doing it all this while. Sadly, Nigeria remains a source, transit and destination country for human trafficking, with Nigeria recording the highest number of slaves, amounting to over 1.3 million people. Mary Kanu, TV360, Nigeria.